So Trevor, I keep hearing all about this machine learning stuff, but a lot of it goes over my head. I used to think that too, but it turns out you can get started with it pretty easily. In fact, I was able to build a machine learning model in just a few minutes. And all you needed was a highly trained data scientist, right? Nope, just some data in BigQuery. Here, let me show you how. Let's get started. The first step in any ML problem is gathering data. So I'm going to use publicly available data on city bike share usage and weather in Austin, Texas. I'm going to try and predict how the weather in Austin affects the daily trips per bike, which the city could use to make decisions about pricing of insurance for those bikes or how many bikes to leave out on a rainy day. I start in the BigQuery web console and use the create model command to name and train my model. I specify that this is a linear regression model and that my input column or the value that I'm going to be predicting is trips per bike. Next, I use standard SQL to choose the feature columns or model inputs that are going to be used to predict trips per bike, in this case, temperature and precipitation data. I then train my model, which will all happen in just about 30 seconds. While the model is training, let's get our model ready to be evaluated. This is how you'll find out important stats about your model, like how useful it is for predictions and what your average error is. Once the model is trained, you can click the model in your BQ dataset, which will include information on the training stats, like the number of iterations your model ran and what your training loss was, and your learn rate. To evaluate our model, we run the ML evaluate command, referencing the name of the model we want to evaluate, then selecting the same feature columns we used to train our model in our first query. Two columns to pay close attention to are R squared score and mean squared error. You typically want an R squared score closer to one, so there's a lot of room for improvement in this model. There's a great article in the description that talks more about how to interpret the results of your model, but let's go ahead and use our model to make a prediction. The predict command is almost identical to our ML evaluate command, except we are going to select a new column for our predicted values at the beginning of the query and specify the ML predict command, and voila, we have some predictions. So there's still a lot that I don't quite get, but I feel like I could start using this today. The details can be pretty complicated, but this is a great way to get started making predictions and learning more. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more great Google Cloud Platform content.